All right, everyone, welcome back into another props video. Give me a touch on the top prop bets today in the WNBA and also MLB. But first, just a quick recap from yesterday. So yesterday, interesting day. Uh, as a whole, the day kind of went as expected. 12, 18, and 3. Three ties. The biggest difference maker between yesterday being like a great day and a push day was this prop bet right here. And I say that because if you guys used the bet on prize picks that I mentioned, which was, I believe, these three, like the opposite of these three, then you cash. You cash, like my, my bet was $5. That's all they gave me for free. I ended up winning $7.5, so $7.5, so not much. Uh, and so it was kind of tilting. The last prop bet on that slip was accuracy. So I was actually cheering for him to get over the kills. I, I really wanted that to hit, and I, it would have been funny to see all the prize picks props push. Uh, but this would have meant two slips would have hit on underdog there. But this is a slip that I also have to share with you guys. So yesterday, if you were using the underdog cheat sheet, you saw that we were getting a couple of decent WNBA prop bets. So I ended up using those two with another bet. I ended up taking out the alike pitching props, which missed on prize picks as well, just because I didn't want to double dip too much. I mentioned that I was going to be running out a bunch of underdog prop bets because we had a decent edge. If Tover doesn't have a good day, I have a massive day on underdogs, super tilting, but it was nice to see that for the most part, the stacks that we were targeting yesterday did end up working out. And so that will be a little bit of today as well. But we go ahead and jump into the boards for today. We are going to see that today is probably going to be another underdog day because we look at prize picks right now. We're getting, in general, you know, maybe six or so decent prop bets. I wouldn't say they're great prop bets. And if we compare that against underdog, you're going to see that we're getting a lot more percent likelihood bets to hit. And that has been the case uh, lately, is that the underdog prop bets, we're getting a little bit of a better edge. And that's why those have been hitting a little bit more frequently, right? I mean, that just goes hand in hand. So I do want to start with the WNBA, because that is where we are getting our biggest edges. And we are getting those bigger edges today on underdog. And so what we're going to see here is that, yes, I know the projection line for Harris here is telling us, well, you maybe want to be betting the under. And yes, that is not a bad idea. But at the same time, the average sportsbook line gives us about a 19 for an edge. And so this is one of the better prop bets that we are getting on paper. We also have Skyler Diggins for under her fantasy score. Again, the average sportsbook line would have this closer to 27. So I like that there as well. We got Dolson. We can see, especially compared to the projection data and the average sportsbook line, definitely higher than the other two. And then we look at what the prize picks lines for those would be, you know, not going to be any different. And then also we have Natasha Howard for under her fantasy score as well. And so again, because prize picks not pulling in any lines for those just yet going to be the same there. So we have four really good under fantasy score prop bets that we could run out today. And I think that is a decent edge that we are getting. Now, when we go ahead and jump on into prize picks, we're going to see that we're not really getting any good prop bets today, WNBA wise, which is unfortunate. We got a couple of okay ones that you could run out if you wanted to. Uh, I just don't think it's worthwhile because they're not the biggest edges on the board today. So a pretty good day WNBA wise. And I'll show you guys just a bet WNBA wise you can run out on underdog and it would look something like this. And so you're going to see one baseball prop mixed in there. Again, I wanted to make this a five slip bet on underdog, taking advantage of their increased payouts for their flex slip bets right now. So with that, let's actually go ahead and pivot on into the MLB. And so we'll stick with underdog again, because that's where we are getting our bigger edges today as it sits right now. And the best prop bet that we're going to get on the board today is going to be a said Javier Asad. Is that how you say his last name? Um, not exactly sure, but... Uh, we can see the average line is set at 29.5. The issue that we have here is only projected to get 5.1 innings. Again, I want a pitcher that's going to give us a good chance at a quality start. He is not going to do that today. But at the same time, given the underdog line that we, we have, like the average projection line is going to be over. The average sportsbook line would be fair in the over. And even the DVP pretty much suggests that he should be getting the over as well. And so all that sets up for him to be pretty solid today. Uh, there's a chance he gets the win as well. So that's all pretty good. And so... That is the top underdog prop bet, and that's why I include that in that WNBA prop bet. You are going to see that we are getting a lot of decent other prop bets as well, specifically for pitching fantasy score. Bryce Miller for under his fantasy score is a decent one. Nestor Cortez, especially in comparison to prize space, is a little bit of a better prop bet there. We are getting some decent hitting fantasy score prop bets, but we are getting a lot of decent pitching props. But I do want to call out that today we are getting another decent stacking opportunity. And so that stacking opportunity would be Corey Seager for over his hitting fantasy score. And then also Marcus Simeon for over his hitting fantasy score as well. Those are two prop bets that set up really well. And I just like that because it does increase the likelihood for kind of a stack or for your bet to hit. And it's another way to add a leg onto that bet to make it a five slip or six slip 
flexed bet. And so that's kind of the route I'm leaning today on underdog. And if we just sort it by where only prop bets correlate together, uh, I would honestly be fine with running out the top prop bets that we have there. I think that's a decent route to go. Uh, but with that, let's go ahead and pivot on into prize picks now. And so for prize picks, Kyle Schwarber over his hitting fantasy score is probably going to be the best one out there today. Again, if you want to run out Nestor Cortez there as well, you could. I just don't really like to double dip. We got Stephen Kwan for over his hitting fantasy score. Those are two pretty good ones there. Bryce Harper for over his hitting fantasy score. So again, a little bit of a stacking opportunity there. I don't mind that idea. I probably will be running that out. But dang, I just realized that that's probably going to be why before I finish this video. So actually, I need to take that one off, which uh, <laughs> makes the board much more difficult uh, today as well. You're going to see uh, much more tight then. So <sighs> probably just Quan and Azonia, Azunia for over their fantasy scores. That's that's probably it for prize picks today. So a very tight, tight board today. So let's go ahead and get into the bets of the day for today on both sites. All right, so jumping into the underdog bet of the day. Again, going to be running out all those WNBA prop bets. Do I expect them all to hit? I mean, I hope so. That's for sure, right? Uh, but we'll see. Obviously, we're running out a massive bet slip. This is an eight slip bet, which is pretty crazy. Now, if you want to sub in the Caitlin Clark free square, you could go ahead and do that. What I'm going to suggest is just doing... Javier Ased for over his pitching fans to score. That's the best prop bet that we have on the board today. That's what I'm going to be running out. A second, an, another stack, or sorry, another bet that you could do. And I'm kind of toying around with this idea as well because I don't mind it because, again, this correlates pretty well, is these two. And whew, I think I might do that, actually. I think that's going to be my bet of the day with the free square, with the Caitlin Clark free squares running these two for over their hitting fantasy score. Because again, that correlates. That's what I'm going to do. But overall, we got a nice eight slip bet that we could potentially be running out. Love the WNBA edges that we are getting today, as well as the decent amount of pitching fantasy score prop bets that we have. And I will say Bryce Miller, that is no longer popping up right now. That was one that I made earlier. So maybe you don't have to do that. And that that one will probably be live by the time you guys get there as well. So ah, that's the difficult part. So yeah, just don't include this one because it's probably gonna be live by the time most of you guys get here, unfortunately. And maybe even Nestor Cortez as well. I probably should start doing live streams on the weekends again. And so yes, an extremely tight board that we have today on prize picks. I would love to be able to run out a five slip bet. I kind of mentioned that I've been wanting to run out more five and six slip bets until football comes back around. But at the same time, I'm not going to force it. I'm not just going to make bets to make bets, uh, force it in there. These are the two prop bets that we have today. So I'm going to run these two out uh, as it sits right now. Again, I got to stop recording so that I can get these picks out to you guys. Uh, but that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys want access to any of the tools that you saw in this video, you know what to do. Head on over to 9to5sports.com. They're available for just $10 a month. Give a like and subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you guys. Good luck today. And as always, let's keep cashing.